Welcome to Channel Mimic, your insight to the Australian visa system. Good day everyone, my name is Carl Young, your online YouTube visa consultant. Are you interested about migrating to Australia? Why don't you consider to subscribe to my channel and turn a little bell aside? So once we have all the updates and news, you'll be the first one of getting all the insight. Now in this video, I would like to take you to a research paper which was published by BDO, a very, very well-known accountancy firm and business consulting firm uh, which had Publish this title as you can see South Australian economic model improves regional demand driven migration this is a key to Australian post COVID recovery now basically the report consists of how many pages here 54 it's humongous it's crazy now I'm not gonna go through all that together with you today but what I'm going to do is I'm going to summarize and provide a little comment of my experience and past and also how I see in the future. So obviously this report came out on the 3rd of November, which also have ext uh, the extract on the on this page. Well, obviously you can easily Google this and find this and read it by yourself. So I think it's, it's basically the government... Um, well, I think they're using media. Uh, I don't like to say that, but it, it is what it is uh, to actually um, letting the public opinion to go in one way. Uh, as you can see, back in 2017 and 18, uh, due to the the political reasons, uh, the government had utilized the media to tell the public that there are just too many migrants and they have stole a lot of jobs and they making Sydney and Melbourne so congested so we need to cut down the number now obviously then what happened the pandemic came the virus came and the economy collapsed oh not the whole but check out the you know tourism industry how about international education industry they they, they, they you know they suffer so much a lot of them have closed down so what's happening now uh, the government of Australia and also the public opinion is aligning, aligning in a way to say look we need more migrants if you've been following my channel long enough you notice i've been reporting and pulling out a lot of these articles that that's not something that i research for i do have mechanics mechanism to actually pick all the immigration related news and then i'll report well I, obviously i choose them to report and i can see that a lot of news i actually align in this way by by means of wanting to get more migrants because the economy is bad now we're looking at the uh, reason uh called uh the the summits in europe in regards to the uh the greenhouse effect and things like that obviously australia and uh china and U usa has not committed to the coal producing thing but look this this coal thing and the coal uh, burning coal getting fire and also the power thing is going to get less and less in the future so that that we're gonna that's gonna strike the economy of australia very badly uh and also uh, that's the reason the migration pathway required to be opened up for more so they are looking at we're looking at how they have tell the public how successful that Australian uh, South Australians model had been okay and let's check it out because um, I've been in the industry long enough to actually know this um, previous in the past um, Australia relies on predominantly a lot of employer sponsored visas so that's in the in the days of four five sevens so employer when they require someone to work there especially a lot of restaurant and franchise chain uh they they just sponsor a lot of people and the biggest sponsor guess what it's mcdonald's <laughs> incredible right how will mcdonald need skilled workers well they had actually sponsored a lot back in those days so i doubt about what about um you know hungry jacks and kfc i think they have done the same thing too but anyhow that scheme has been teared off 
and obviously we've seen the new employer sponsor visa is now under the subclass 4A2 and they also uh, crash the whole skill occupation list and make it regional make it into short term medium long term and every state have different occupation list it's, it's <laughs> to make it so you know complicated in a way uh, as you can see there, there has been a parliamentary committee debate and also a suggestion inquiry into simplifying the occupation list to make it easier to understand and obviously this report came out talking about a how successful the south australian model is so let's check out how the south australian model now south australian model has basically uh, predominantly um, opened up for all the possibility for people who have studied long enough in South Australia, people who have lived long enough in South Australia, people who have employment. If you are none of these, you can start a business in South Australia and the state will nominate you. It depends on how good you are. They will give you subclass 190 or 491. I think 491 will be the one predominantly be used with a lot of quota there. So uh, basically the if we go back to this report, well you can read it if you want. Uh, it's very very wordy. It took me a lot of time. Uh, it's basically going cir circle all around but what it's trying to accomplish here is look um, using how South Australia's model has been very successful. Uh, I don't know it's a hint to all the other territory and states in Australia but I doubt all the other states will actually follow. But we'll see. We'll see. See how that goes. So even if, it, if the report even picked out the top seven impacted sector. So obviously these actually covers most of them. Um, and I, I'm not too sure how this will go, how far this will go. But I, I'm pretty sure one thing. One thing is that the government of Australia through a lot of previous media and information that we what i receive and also share in this channel we know that australia is on its way to open up its migration pathway and looks like it's gonna be easier than before because they need more migrants check out the previous video in regards to new south wales new premier's comments in regards to two million migrants how do we get two million obviously you don't get very hard criteria anymore. You want more people to come to Australia. So I, I actually estimated that within the next two or three years, the time has come and you better get this chance. The opportunities will open up for you. Anyhow, should you have more query and comments, more than welcome to leave a comment right down below and I see you next video. Goodbye.